So, ladies and gentlemen, after that, um, after that mega win against JJ, we currently have Spade on the call. We're gonna do our very first interview video. Um, oh gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a test thing. We're we're gonna have Spade as our guinea pig, and actually, I'm gonna be the guinea pig as well as Vincent for asking questions. Yeah. Um, but Spade, I just want to say huge win for Mega. You guys absolutely needed that win, especially starting off 0 two. How do you feel? I feel actually really good. Um, I didn't play the first two weeks anyway. So, I mean, I don't really know, like, what went down. But I know we lost them. Like, like, both of the losses were very, very slim, you know. So, like, I'm really glad that we won this one. Right. And What would you say your your uh, thought process and mentality was going into the war, especially being, like, you know, 0-2 the first two weeks? Uh, I mean, I wasn't really too worried about, like – getting uh mad i mean i think i think that's the main thing is to just get mad and that's kind of what my mentality was i mean obviously because i mean i don't know if you guys saw like the delfino square race but like they mm -hmm. were basically they were basically getting top four and i know races like that can definitely like you know that can really turn your mood around especially if a team gets top four you know like halfway through the war I actually want to go back to that Delfino race. Um, yeah, JJ were top four going into that, but you actually made a really good play at the very end with those greens. It was a sort of do or die situation where you just, you sniped one of them and then you threw those other two greens like cutting in diagonally towards the wall and you hit another player but hit yourself. That was much needed. I will Basically say. suicide bombed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sacrifice I your own race. <laughs> I don't know, team. like... I don't know, like right there, I would so like slide through a blue, uh, and basically I was in my head. I was thinking, like, is if I can just get the guy that got blued, you know, like they they only get top three instead of top four. So I just I just kind of like panically threw my greens, and it just so happened to turn out like that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I I can say it was a little bit of luck, but I mean, at the meet at the same time, like you, I kind of knew those greens were going to hit at least one person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What was the the mood and the game plan when Jiren, when the other team would pull the shock? So when the other team would pull it, regardless of spots, like what was the mood? Um, I mean, it, it what was, was your kinda, guys' game plan. It was kind of like, I mean, I, f I felt like the mood changed slightly, not not too much. It was kind of like, oh, uh, you know, like like oh, they pulled it in ninth. But our main goal was kind of like just look for them when they're in dodges, and like if we get a chance to uh you know if, if we get a chance to dodge with him uh well we, we'd do that basically it was very very back and forth i know that every race like it was either a jj win or a good mega win like it was just there, i think the highest lead was like 20 it, it was very close yeah the, the highest lead was about yeah it was about that from jj um jj was in control for the most of the most of the war and then you guys just pulled it out in the end um, like you said before, it was just that that um, that thought of hey, let's just keep going because you guys you guys did tilt a little bit. You said right at one point. Um, uh, a little bit. Like I wouldn't say it was like full on. You know what I'm saying? It's just a natural tilt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like like if you lose a race, I mean, obviously you're gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And um, I want to point out the BC We ra race was really it was really interesting because at first. Uh, Mega were top two, and then um, Declan got a TC pass, so then they ended up catching up to the front. Mega got back up there, and um, in the beginning, Slide used the bill, and uh, Jiren was in last at around like 30 seconds, but he chose to use a bill. Do you know what the thought process was behind uh, that? Do you know what Slide's intentions were with that bill? Okay, okay, so the reasoning... Okay, I remember that. So basically, it was kind of like... Uh, they had pulled so many ninth place shocks that slide is kind of bill now and maybe harder for them to pull it in ninth again. That was the reasoning behind oh, the bill. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. See, I thought that Jiren pulled it that first set where you go backwards and that oh, like, and then say, I... and then, uh, slide was just like, Oh, I'm just going to bill up anyway so I can get up there. Do you think, do you think you're going to be an integral, integral part of the team going into future matches? Or do you think this was just the case where you were needed and you stepped up? Um, I'm not 100% sure just cause like, I mean, I know, I know slide and Matt are going to play every week, but like, or for the most part, but it's the other two runners, I feel like they're kind of rotating him around. Like and, I know Edge I is a key piece, but was he available? 
Uh, not today. No, he, he can't play Sundays, which is unfortunate. Okay, got you, got you. But either way, though, I mean, you you showed out. Um, typically with subs, um, it's like myself too. Like I'm a sub for JJ, and I'm not really very good anymore. But typically with subs, like they come in, they they do okay, but not enough to break the barrier. I feel like you broke the barrier today, and I just want to say good job. Great showing. Uh, I I tr I try. I I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna like say one thing. Like there was a few other races as well. Like. Or like for example, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take DDR for example. Like my mentality personally, I was like, I hate. Like Vincent even knows I despise that track. But I literally, I literally ran that track to finish. I was surprised actually. <laughs> was so, you the one that said it was just like all orange? You got all pissed because the track was just orange. Yeah, like on my TV, <laughs> like it's so bright, it's it's <laughs> unplayable. Do you still have that box TV? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I I fixed the problem, but. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I just don't like the track. So I, I was actually proud of myself. And I'm going to be honest, like me and like, it's so like me and Matt were like playing really well that race together. Dude, Matt, Matt was on point with the team play. We just, we kept double backing every turn. And, and I was going to say, play. you guys, um, who, okay, so checks like RWS, you know that Camelot wanted to run and all that. But I noticed like a lot of you just played like mid pla mid pack, and it was uh, just like Matt and Cam running. And I feel like Slide was always like hitting them. Same with you. Uh, like, what was the? I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, like, is that what you wanted? Did you want to stay behind and, and kind of like you know play play mid pack? Um, or did I'm you not... want to run? I mean, I was trying to run for the most part, and even yeah. like. Even on races like uh, Mushroom Gorge, I was like in the front. D like I yeah. said, DDR. I, most races I was in the front. It just so happened like midway lap three, I was kind of in the pack. And mm -hmm. uh, and when you're in the pack, I mean, like obviously you're gonna want to slag the other team, especially right. like if the uh, scores are close. You're gonna want to like make it so they don't have an advantage at all or at any point in time. So. Um. Like I saw you run and I saw you get people out of top spots, so that was good enough, I'd say, for the team. And you, you I think, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. No, no, sorry. Go ahead. I think I was gonna say. I think my main thing is, is I know that I'm a slow player, <laughs> and I can use my slowness to my advantage. I'm not gonna try to outrun someone that I know I can't outrun. So, like, let's say I have a red in first, and like I know someone's faster than me. I'm just gonna let him pass and then red him and just keep running in first. Like, it's it's that's just that's just how I play. So your yeah. thing is, is, you know, like skew the whole running game and just use items to your advantage. Yeah. And I'm, not let them get away. Yeah, basically. Because I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to try to outrun someone that I know I can't outrun. There, there's no point. You're just going to get killed. You know what I'm saying? There's no point even trying doing that. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for coming along for the guinea pig thing. I, you know what? I should have, yeah, yeah. I should have kept, uh, kept them online for the stream, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. We'll we'll get yeah. this on the YouTube. It'll be all right. Hey, sweet, sweet. Hey. But yeah, right. thanks, yeah. Vincent, thank for coming you, along. Thank you guys for mm -hmm. thank you guys for having me. And yeah. So, uh, I just want to start off by saying, you know what, tough loss. Um, I I will say you guys did pretty well. Um, especially even with the races that you guys didn't have shock. Like for example, Maple Treeway. Uh, they had two shocks in that scenario, but um, one of you guys dodged in cannon. I believe that was you, Zesty. No, it was Tor. Tor dodged. Uh, in the oh, no, that was um. I'm sorry, that was in Parkway. Um, yeah, Parkway, Zesty, you slowed down. Um, but for the yeah. races that you guys didn't have shock, you guys still were pretty resilient, and you guys still kept held your own, only losing the races by like three or five. Um, you guys did very well, GP one and two, but GP three is kind of where it went downhill. What do you think happened there? Well, obviously it's me not getting shocks, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it kind of just went downhill since like the start of uh, RBC. Um, you know, I've just been going backwards like nonstop, trying to get shock and last, but it kept giving me bail. And then Jiren gets the lucky knife by shock, and then like the other three races was just me just constantly getting bail and in ninth, and he gets the shock in tenth. So I will eight. say, even though so, uh, even though you guys lost, I th I still think you guys have a lot to look at in terms of positives. I think you guys should keep your heads up because there were a couple t a couple of plays you guys made today that were really good, like slowing down in a uh, Parkway Zesty. That was a good play. 
Um, and yeah, I, you guys predicted shock several times. I think BC Wii, you guys predicted the Ram shock or the cancel blue. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was a good prediction. I think Mac dodged, right? No, uh, well, yeah, I think Mac dodged. I, Torp was about to dodge, but then he got out. Like it was like one second after uh, his. Mega. Yeah, Torp predicted. I think Torp predicted uh, ramp shock, and then uh, Mac. Yeah, well, we pulled blue right after, so he's yeah. in mega already. Right. Um, it was just a relatively uh, close war throughout. I'm gonna focus my attention to uh, Sherbet Land, though. I noticed uh, in the beginning you guys fell behind a little bit. Could you tell me what happened in that scenario? Okay. So, I just based on what they were doing, they always had one and eight. So I just thought I didn't let them get a box and going. They're probably gonna get bill or something just to hold for us to raise. I did get a golden. I actually don't know what happened. I think three or four people fell off there, and I think it was Declan and Torb. So I was I golden up the third, kept on backspamming us and just broke away. We kind of relied on shock that race, just you, based on the situation. Yeah, so, I mean, it was really close, and I, I don't blame you guys necessarily, because Sherbet Land's a pretty shock-reliant uh, track, but usually with Sherbet Land, I'd say just, like, have one person try to go for a dodge and one person get a golden and get up there, have a couple people run. Do you think, uh, we, like, do yeah. you know in the beginning if you had two people run or one person run? It was me and Matt who stopped. Everyone else ran. But what happened was, I think Spade, people triple shrooms in fourth. Yeah, we yeah. Got a, we got a blue at the end of lap one, but he dodged it. Broke away after that. It was a lot back swimming every turn. Yeah, I think it was just in that situation, they got the shrooms, and I I guess um you guys couldn't get up there. I mean, you were up there at first with the the people running up there, but lost it quickly. I think Spade bumped one. Um, Were you guys surprised at all uh by Spade's performance? I actually don't know how much he scored. I didn't really pay attention to the individuals, but, um, like, I think he played pretty well. Yeah, he, he didn't, like, break, he didn't break out in terms of score, but I saw a couple times, like, he he made some plays, like, the greens on Delfino, for example. Um, but, yeah, at first, when you guys saw the lineup, you guys saw a lineup of um, a slide and Matt, of course, usually, but then um, you saw Spade in there, and you saw... Um, you saw Camelot running. Were you guys? Did you guys take them lightly at all, or was was the mentality going? Was the mentality the same going into it? Well, our main goal was to not like be uh, underestimate them, so we just played like how we usually play, and we just kept our focus. We didn't like uh, think it was a bad LU or anything, because you know, the, in this division, Division Two, it could be anyone's game. Actually, we've seen like some upsets here, here and there. So, uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. you know, we just. Yeah, so we just played like how we normally play. We didn't uh, underestimate any opponent. We just had to do everything we can to get the win. Yeah, and th this division is really close. Like it, even like you said, even with the upsets, like Mogi mains on on EM and A7 on uh, Mega. Um, this division is going to be really close. So again, I would say this is. A, did you guys get bonus point? Actually, I couldn't. I couldn't. We did. Yeah. yeah. Did not. If all the scores are correct, we lost by twenty. It gives us bonus point barely. Oh, okay, okay. So especially with that, I'd probably say you guys should probably keep your head up because very close to vision and you guys have been playing very well. Uh, one more thing too. Um, I already most likely know the answer to this question because I know you guys really well. But how was the chemistry overall? Do you guys think the chemistry was good? Were there any slip-ups in the chemistry? Like were there any mistakes being made, team kills or anything? I don't think we had any like mistakes in chemistry, but maybe some mistakes on when to dodges, locations like that. In the first race, uh, Declan used a star a little bit early because I said that we were going to call it, but Torb hadn't even got close to that. But it ended up working out. Yeah, and I'm not too surprised that that's the case because you guys have always been very good with chemistry. Um, I One thing I did notice, though, is that Mac tilted quite a bit there, actually, from what I read in the chat. Yeah. And it kind of showed because he did score like 60 something in the end and it from what i saw it, it really wasn't a good performance from him in the end and um i, I also want to i also want to ask what was the what was the reason for the last minute format change i know you wanted to play troll and you did well you you missed out on fire though that's the thing fire wasn't available is that the reason why you changed 
No, well, what I usually do is I don't like to tell the other team what we're going to do before, before I actually have to. Right. So I gave them an impression that we're going to go troll. I don't know if it did anything, but I always do that. Oh, I see, I see. So it's just We were always going to go suicide. Ah. Thinking that we had the bagger advantage more than we had a trolling advantage. Yeah. I'm not very... Like, I should, you know what, man? I should have really known that for how long I've, I've known you. I should have known that. <laughs> but, yeah. um... Another thing too is, do you think do you think that um, Sui was the right choice in the end, or do you think you could have exploited uh, Troll because they did have Jiren and they had they didn't have anybody else. Jiren was going to run if it was Troll. Do you think it could have turned out differently if you guys picked Troll? Um, I'm not really sure. Like it's always like hindsight twenty twenty, right? Yeah, of course. We of course. we were always gonna go Sui, like. Personally, I did want to go troll, but I don't really want to end of pick format, especially knowing that we don't particularly like it, especially right. deck. And I think we had more of an advantage with pick over Jiren than me over Camelot. Camelot's proven himself to be one of like better trollers. In but yeah. we didn't know that Jiren was going to run if it was troll. Like, we oh. always assumed it was going to be Matt, Edge, Glide, maybe Christian or Sammy. And a Camelot, oh, I which see, is I a see. very, very strong alley. Yeah. <laughs>